Hey guys, welcome back to another devlog for my Ancient Greek themed tower defense game. I'm going to start today's video off with a bit of context of what I have planned for this video and then jump straight into development. I've mentioned in the last two devlogs the primary issues I faced during development of this game so far, namely being issues with the scope and the feature creep. An issue that I had with this was blindly adding characters into the game and not really thinking how each character is supposed to interact with each other or even the environment. An example of this, I wrote a base unit class script and had every specific character derived from that class, but as the game expanded and I needed to take into account different player interactions, what I was writing and how I was writing it wasn't exactly flexible. And by flexible I mean I could keep going the way that I was going, but anytime I wanted to introduce a new character, every existing character would need to be rewritten to account for the changes from that one. Take the fairy character for example. The idea of this character was to buff nearby towers, so things like fire rate or range, but there were certain characters, such as fairies themselves, who couldn't, or rather shouldn't, be buffed, so I had to write in extra conditions to account for this. Then I added in Mr. Moneybags, and he was meant to make certain units cheaper, but I had to have a way of keeping track of him and making sure that if two of this character existed in the level, it wouldn't just keep making units cheaper. So this system quickly fell through. But now that I have my game design document written, and I've actually defined every friendly unit and how they interact with each other, I have a way of checking where upgrades need to be added, and the idea that I have for this is actually through a dictionary. Each hero will have a scriptable object attached to them which defines their base stats and names, and will also contain data for their upgrades. But we'll also have a dictionary that has keys for their upgrade types and who or what they're being upgraded by. The idea for this is that when, say, the fairy character tries to upgrade nearby towers, it will look at the nearby units, attempt to pass through the range upgrade, and if a character within the fairy's range has the key for range, then it knows it can upgrade it. And in extension to this, there will also be a check that can easily be implemented to see if this character is already being buffed by a different nearby fairy, and if it is, then it can skip it. I'm going to jump into coding this system now and hopefully have a rough prototype of it working shortly, so I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I just got done coding a basic prototype of the dictionary system, so I'll go over what I've done and how it works. I've created a scriptable object called unit file, which will eventually replace all the friendly unit scriptable objects, and it contains two properties, a custom class called unit definition and the dictionary itself. Now the way that the custom class works is almost like a pseudo dictionary creator. There's a class contained within it with two properties, a key and a value, similar to how a regular dictionary works. And there's also a list of this class so that I can add as many values to it as I want. Now, back in the Unity editor, if we create a new instance of this scriptable object, we're given an empty list of the key value pair class that we can add a key and a value to. So let's say we have one called unit name and one called unit class. With these, we can actually write in the value of what we would associate with it. So a name can be Garnet and a class can be developer. Now, back inside of our mono behavior script, which handles basically the core functionality of the game, we can reference any unit scriptable object call the dictionary attached to it and check if it contains the key, and if so, we can apply necessary changes to that specific instance of the scriptable object. Now, in my previous implementation of this, it was actually reading data from a JSON file, which is something that I actually really liked how it was implemented, but obviously there was a lot of redundant data, as every character had to have data associated to it, something that it may never need. For example, the fairy character having fire rate or shot speed. I'm going to jump back into the development now and start to scrap the existing friendly units and slowly upgrade them into the new system. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit.
Finally back and I've got it working. There is still a little bit I need to do to clean up the system to be back where it was, but I think I'm gonna do that off camera as I'm more keen on getting the new content out for you guys. I'll leave the devlog there for this fortnight. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, consider subscribing to keep up to date with the fortnightly updates. As always, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.